Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zothar Gardens. I'm gonna do something really quick for you guys. Um, it's been requested a lot in the past. Um, how to make the menish or a, a Zatar bread or Zatar pizza or Zatar pie, some people say. The easiest way I found out is you just get the Middle Eastern flatbread. I got this from Trader Joe's. Just get a pack, okay? Put on the, put the frying pan on medium so I put on four, it just seems like the best. Get your olive oil. I love um, this brand of olive oil compared to others. I think it has something to do with that right here because it really tastes like almost fruity. So just put about a tablespoon or more. Let's see, I'll speed up this video in a little bit here too. Okay, here's the key. Both sides of the bread have to be, and now the heat is on. Both sides of the bread have to be have, have have to have olive oil on it. So rub it around. And then get it everywhere. Okay, flip it over. Okay, that should be it. Then get your zot that I have my first zot that I make. My wife and I bought this container for it. So this is uh, about maybe I would say a week and a half old, this zatar. So this is the Oregonum Syricum, Syrian Oregano, uh, Sumac, roasted sesame seeds, and just a little bit of, of uh, pink Him Himalayan salt. That's it, nothing else. About a heaping tablespoon over. And then you want to, or maybe a little bit more. Then you want to spread it with your hand or your fingertips. I don't go to the edge. Some people do. I don't want it to fall over and make a mess. Okay, there's already olive oil. If you remember, I, I, I rubbed it on the frying pan. So if you want to put a little bit more olive oil, it's okay. But sooner or later, all this will be soaking, soaked with olive oil. All right, I'll speed up the video when it's done. And this is gonna be about maybe Two minutes. The, the way you'll find out is when it starts bubbling. Just stir it around in the frying pan occasionally. Get the olive oil everywhere on the bottom. But it's still coming along. You see it's starting to bubble. If needed, add a little bit of olive oil where you see it's still dry. Just drizzle it on, not too much. Not too much. Then if you want, it's up to you, but I like to add it sometimes, is just a little bit of shredded cheese. Just a little bit. Then when you start seeing a bubble up, like it is right here, it's when it's telling you it's about ready. And there we have it. Then I like to add in some chives from the garden, tomatoes, fresh mint, and just a little bit, a little bit of fresh sumac on top. And that's it. Happy gardening and happy eating. Bye everyone.